This year marks the city of Greenville's 250th birthday. The city is planning a big celebration. Good evening, everyone. Thanks for joining us here at 6 o'clock. I'm Ken Watlington. And I'm Angie Casada. The city of Greenville was first established in 1774 as Martinsboro. Years later, it became Greenville, and now they're celebrating 250 years all year long. Now your signs, Aaron Jenkins joined us live from downtown. So Aaron, what's in store for this year? Okay, Angie, there is actually a lot planned for this year. One of the first things they're doing is they're actually releasing these 250th anniversary calendars. They have photos from the past as well as the present. You can pick yours up here at City Hall, but now the city needs your help to make this a year to remember. When you talk about the hub of Eastern North Carolina, as we've always referred to Greenville, it really dates back to those early days and, and the river and the ports here in Greenville were a big part of being that hub. Then you had farming and farming became a very big thing. Tobacco, cotton, very instrumental in the development of Greenville. 250 years later, some things have changed but others still look the same. Throughout Greenville's history, education's been a big thing. Pitt Academy was actually established in the late 1700s. I mean, that's a long time ago, and that really just was the beginning of what has become a, a tradition of education in Greenville. Then medical also became a very big thing, and uh, the first hospital to what we have now with the uh, ECU Health. On this 250th anniversary, the city wants to recognize these unique aspects. We're going to try to do as much as we can to involve the community as we go with a different theme for each month. Uh, examples include, you know, focusing on um, black history during uh, February, uh, people in places and they need your help to make it possible. There are still folks with plenty of stories to tell. Uh, maybe there's artifacts at their home that they'd like to share. We're looking for all of that stuff from the community. We want to get the community involved as much as possible because they're going to play a significant role in making sure that the future of Greenville is as successful as the past has been thus far. Now the city plans to have a big birthday bash sometime in October, as well as those other events planned each month. We'll keep you updated on what those are when we know them. And if you have any artifacts that you'd like to be displayed or on their website, all you have to do is reach out to the public information office here. We'll have their information on our website at WNCT.com. Live in Greenville, Aaron Jenkins, 9 on your side. An exciting time, Aaron. Thanks.